Amidst the moving narrative of Jesus' final journey to the cross, we are confronted with the profound stress he faced. Many may assume that this path was easy for him, but nothing could be further from the truth. If it were easy, the significance of his sacrifice would be underestimated. Instead, we witness Jesus being overwhelmed by profound sadness on the brink of death. Imagine yourself in this distressing situation, about to face one of the most painful deaths, surrounded by imminent humiliation and insults. The approach of those who would come to arrest him is imminent. The account of Luke takes us from Jesus' deep prayer in Gethsemane, where his faith in God is reaffirmed, to his burial. The Bible leads us through the final steps of an innocent man who chose to die for others. Each of the Gospels presents us with a vivid narrative of the time Jesus, along with his disciples and others, spent in the Garden of Gethsemane. Crucial moments before his arrest, it is a tale of deep agony and surrender. Jesus, in anguish, falls to the ground and prays to his Father, pleading, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Matthew 26, 39. Later, he repeats this plea, praying, My Father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Matthew 26, 42. These words echo through the centuries, revealing Jesus' deep submission to the divine plan, even in the face of imminent suffering. These moving prayers shed penetrating light on Jesus' state of mind immediately before facing his crucifixion, revealing his total surrender to the divine will. The cup he refers to is the symbol of the suffering he was about to endure. It's as if Jesus stood before a bitter cup, ready to drink every last drop. In Matthew 20, 22, Jesus addresses the topic of suffering by asking his disciples, Are you able to drink the cup that I am? To Hebrews 2, 17. Therefore, he had to be made like his brothers in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. It was essential for him to become like us, his brothers in humanity, so that he could fully understand our struggles and needs. He became a merciful and faithful high priest, capable of atoning for the sins of the people, wiping away sin, and providing reconciliation between God and humanity. Jesus came with a clear mission to seek and save the lost. He succeeded in completing this mission even if it required him to drink the cup of suffering to the last drop. His prayer reveals the depth and quality of his relationship with the Father. It was an extremely challenging test as evidenced by the profound agony and almost mortal anguish he faced in the garden, as described in Luke 22, 43-45. As Jesus struggled in prayer, his disciples, unable to fully comprehend the gravity of the situation, fell asleep. An angel came from heaven to strengthen him in this crucial moment. Upon rising from prayer, Jesus found his disciples sleeping from sorrow and urged them, Why are you sleeping? Rise and pray that you may not enter into temptation. Luke 22:45. These words resonate to this day, reminding us of the importance of spiritual vigilance even in the most difficult moments. The appearance of an angel to comfort Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane is profoundly significant. It symbolizes heaven's willingness to stand by Jesus as he faces his calling, even in the face of imminent rejection and death. Jesus entrusts his burdens to God, revealing a deeply human portrait of Jesus dealing with a range of emotions as he faces his own death. Luke's portrayal of Jesus in this manner does not diminish his divinity. Rather, it shows us a Jesus who can relate to our weaknesses and traumas, as stated in Hebrews 4.15. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. 
These verses reveal Jesus' character and show us how we can face life's great trials, which God sends us. They present us with a man who relies completely on God and is determined to do His will even in the most difficult circumstances. This is a source of encouragement and inspiration for all of us, showing that like Jesus, we can trust in God amidst adversities and remain steadfast in His will moments. Firstly, it is where spiritual battles are fought. Secondly, it is where loneliness is deeply felt. Thirdly, it is a place of honest sincerity with God. Fourthly, it is a moment of total submission to divine will. And finally, it is where strength is received to face the challenges ahead. This verse is crucial for our understanding because it sheds light on the loneliness and pain experienced by Jesus in Gethsemane, which in turn helps us understand the importance of what happened there. Some scholars see a connection between Jesus' sweat of blood on his forehead and Adam's curse, who was condemned to work by the sweat of his brow after the fall. Adam failed the test in the garden, as the burden of the forbidden fruit was too heavy for him to bear, resulting in humanity's fall. However, Christ, the second Adam, triumphed where Adam failed. Jesus' sweat of blood symbolizes the intensity of his anguish and his determination to face the cup of God's wrath. He took upon himself the curse that Adam brought upon the world. This leads us to witness Christ's agony in Gethsemane, where he refused to let go of the cup and drank it to the last drop. This means that there will be no more divine wrath directed towards those who are united with Christ because he drank the cup of wrath in our place. If he drank it all, there was nothing left for us. Yes, the ultimate fulfillment of redemption occurred at Golgotha, but the obedience demonstrated by Jesus in Gethsemane was also crucial to remove the curse from us. His complete compliance at that moment was transferred to our account, allowing us to be reconciled with God. Moreover, this experience reveals that Jesus deeply understands human loneliness and pain. He not only understands our anguish, but experienced it intensely and personally. Jesus faced temptations far beyond what any of us will ever face. He willingly and consciously faced the cup of God's wrath, drinking it to the last drop. This shows us that we can trust Him to share our pains and distress, because He understands them in a way that no one else can. He is our faithful confidant, the one who understands our deepest desires and afflictions. Have you ever questioned God's love for you? Look to the Garden of Gethsemane. There you witness the Son of God sweating profusely like drops of blood, or perhaps sweat mixed with blood. You see his determination not only to obey the Father, but to obey the Father for the redemption of humanity. He drank from the cup on your behalf. Look no further than the silence of the Father. There was no other way to redeem humanity because divine wrath would be poured out on his Son. Allow the logic of Romans 8.32 to motivate you. He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? If God were not committed to your redemption, he would have let that cup pass from Jesus in the garden and transferred it to us. He would have allowed humanity to be engulfed by his wrath, preserving his son. However, he did not do this, not only because he loves us, but because that is who God is. It is his nature to be selfless, to give of himself, so that others may live. Therefore, have faith in this. Who can be against you if God is for you? The journey of Jesus to the cross and his experience in the Garden of Gethsemane reveal the depth of his love for humanity and the extent of his sacrifice. It is a story of profound suffering, intense loneliness, unwavering obedience, and ultimately, triumphant victory. Through his example, we find hope, comfort, and assurance that even in our darkest moments, we are not alone. Jesus understands our struggles, he shares in our pain, and he offers us redemption, reconciliation, and eternal life. 
May we always turn to him in faith, trusting in his love and mercy, and may his story inspire us to live lives of love, service, and sacrifice moments. First, it is the place where spiritual battles are fought. Second, it is where loneliness is deeply felt. Third, it is a place of sincere honesty with God. Fourth, it is a moment of total submission to the divine will. And finally, it is where strength is received to face the challenges ahead. This verse is crucial for our understanding because it sheds light on the loneliness and pain experienced by Jesus in Gethsemane, which in turn helps us understand the significance of what happened there. Some scholars see a connection between Jesus' sweat of blood and Adam's curse, who was condemned to work by the sweat of his brow after the fall. Adam failed the test in the garden. The burden of the forbidden fruit was too heavy for him to bear, resulting in humanity's fall. However, Christ, the second Adam, triumphed where Adam failed. Jesus' sweat of blood symbolizes the intensity of his anguish and his determination to face the cup of God's wrath. He took upon himself the curse that Adam brought into the world. This leads us to witness Christ's agony in Gethsemane, where he refused to let go of the cup and drank it to the last drop. This means that there will be no more divine wrath directed at those who are united with Christ, for he drank the cup of wrath on our behalf. If he drank it all, there was nothing left for us. This is the ultimate fulfillment of redemption, which took place on Golgotha, but Jesus' obedience in Gethsemane was also essential to remove the curse from us. His complete compliance at that moment was credited to our account, allowing us to be reconciled with God. Furthermore, this experience reveals that Jesus deeply understands human loneliness and pain. He not only understands our anguish, but experienced it intensely and personally. Jesus faced temptations far beyond what any of us will ever face. He willingly and consciously faced the cup of God's wrath, drinking it to the last drop. This shows us that we can trust him to share our pains and anxieties because he understands them in a way that no one else can. He is our faithful confidant, the one who understands our deepest longings and afflictions. Have you ever questioned God's love for you? Look to the Garden of Gethsemane. There you witness the Son of God sweating profusely like drops of blood, or perhaps sweat mixed with blood. You see his determination not only to obey the Father, but to obey the Father for the redemption of humanity. He drank from the cup on your behalf. Look no further than the Father's silence. There was no other way to redeem humanity, for divine wrath would have been poured out on his Son. Allow the logic of Romans 8.32 to motivate you. He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? If God were not committed to your redemption, he would have let that cup pass from Jesus in the garden and transferred it to us. He would have allowed humanity to be consumed by his wrath, preserving his son. However, he did not do that, not only because he loves us, but because that is who God is. It is in his nature to be selfless, to give of himself so that others may live. Therefore, have faith in this. If God is for you, who can be against you? In the midst of the poignant narrative of Jesus' final journey to the cross, we are confronted with the profound stress he endured. Many may assume that this path was easy for him, but nothing could be further from the truth. If it were easy, the significance of his sacrifice would be underestimated. Instead, we witness Jesus overwhelmed by overwhelming sadness on the verge of death. Imagine yourself in this distressing situation, about to face one of the most painful deaths, surrounded by imminent humiliation and insults, the approach of those who would come to arrest him is imminent. Luke's account takes us from Jesus' deep prayer in Gethsemane, where his faith in God is reaffirmed, to his burial. 
The Bible guides us through the final steps of an innocent man who chose to die for others. Each of the Gospels presents us with a vivid narrative of the time Jesus, along with his disciples and others, spent in the Garden of Gethsemane moments before his arrest. It is a tale of deep agony and surrender. Jesus, in distress, prostrates himself and prays to his Father, pleading, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Matthew 26, 39. Later he repeats this plea, saying, My Father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Matthew 26, 42. These words echo through the centuries, revealing Jesus' deep submission to the divine plan even in the face of impending suffering. These moving prayers shed penetrating light on Jesus' state of mind immediately before facing his crucifixion, revealing his total surrender to the divine will. The cup to which he refers is the symbol of the suffering he was about to endure. It's as if Jesus was facing a bitter cup, ready to drink it to the last drop. In Matthew 20:22, 20, Jesus addresses the theme of suffering by asking his disciples, Are you able to drink the cup that I am to drink? This is a question that resonates in all of us. When Jesus prays to the faith of pleading, let this cup pass from me, he expresses the natural human longing to avoid pain and suffering. This is the raw humanity of Christ, showing his deep understanding of human struggles. Jesus, being fully God, is also fully human. The book of Revelation in 5.9 resonates with a glorious song of redemption, proclaiming, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open it seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. This reminds us of Jesus' ultimate sacrifice, which brought redemption to all humanity. Furthermore, Jesus expresses in his prayer, yet not as I will, but as you will, his complete commitment to God's will in all aspects of his existence, body, mind, and soul. This is the essence of the righteous prayer, always submitting to God's will, as taught in Matthew 6-10. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus conquered the flesh, keeping it submissive to the Spirit, completely surrendering to God's will even when it was difficult. Our own difficult moments become more bearable when we understand that Jesus understood the desire to follow God's will even when it was challenging. He understood the conflict between the desires of the flesh and the will of God, offering us comfort and encouragement. This struggle is not sinful but rather a normal part of the human experience, showing us that true victory lies in submitting to the divine will even when it is challenging. Our Redeemer Jesus Christ fully embraced human nature in every aspect, as Hebrews 2.17 reminds us. Therefore, he had to be made like his brothers in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. It was essential that he became like us, his brothers in humanity, to fully understand our struggles and needs. He became a merciful and faithful high priest, capable of making atonement for the sins of the people, wiping away sin and providing reconciliation between God and humanity. Jesus came with a clear mission to seek and save the lost. He succeeded in completing this mission, even though it required him to drink from the cup of suffering to the very end. His prayer reveals the depth and quality of his relationship with the Father. It was an extremely challenging trial, as evidenced by the deep agony and almost mortal anguish he faced in the garden, as described in Luke 22, 43-45. While Jesus struggled in prayer, his disciples, unable to fully grasp the gravity of the situation, fell asleep. An angel came from heaven to strengthen him at this crucial moment, 
When he rose from prayer, Jesus found his disciples sleeping from sorrow and exhorted them, Why are you sleeping? Rise and pray that you may not enter into temptation. Luke 22, 45. These words echo to this day, reminding us of the importance of spiritual vigilance even in the most difficult times. The appearance of an angel to comfort Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane is profoundly significant. It symbolizes heaven's willingness to stand by Jesus as he faces his calling, even in the face of imminent rejection and death. Jesus entrusts his burdens to God, even as he faces the imminent rejection of death. This is a deeply human portrait of Jesus, dealing with a range of emotions as he faces his own death. Luke's portrayal of Jesus in this way does not diminish his divinity. Rather, it shows us a Jesus who can relate to our weaknesses and traumas. As Hebrews 4.15 asserts, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. These verses reveal Jesus' character and show us how we can face life's great trials that God sends us. They present us with a man who depends entirely on God and is determined to do His will, even in the most difficult circumstances. This is a source of encouragement and inspiration for all of us, showing that, like Jesus, we can trust in God amidst adversities and remain steadfast in His will. We observe an individual dealing with hardships seeking comfort and guidance in God and another channeling his deep emotions through prayer to God. Jesus also undergoes this challenge, receiving not an exemption but the necessary vigor to overcome it. He questions the possibility of another path but manifests his resolve to adhere to the divine plan. The heavens grant Jesus the strength he needs to fulfill his mission, disregarding his appeal for an alternative. The text highlights this harmony between accepting the divine call and the celestial support provided, illustrating remarkable aspects of Jesus' character as he faces his crucial trial. Through prayer, he openly shares his suffering and longing for God, maintaining his practice of communication with the divine unchanged by the extraordinary events of his existence. The book of Revelation in 5.9 resonates with a glorious song of redemption, proclaiming, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. This reminds us of Jesus' ultimate sacrifice, which brought redemption to all humanity. Furthermore, Jesus expresses in his prayer, Yet not as I will, but as you will. His complete commitment to God's will in all aspects of his existence, body, mind, and soul. This is the essence of the righteous prayer, always submitting to God's will as taught in Matthew 6.10, Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus conquered the flesh, keeping it submissive to the Spirit, completely surrendering to God's will, even when it was difficult. Our own difficult moments become more bearable when we understand that Jesus understood the desire to follow God's will, even when it was challenging. He understood the conflict between the desires of the flesh and the will of God, offeree. This struggle is not sinful, but rather a normal part of the human experience, showing us that true victory lies in submitting to the divine will, even when it is challenging. Our Redeemer, Jesus Christ, fully embraced human nature in every aspect, as Hebrews 2.17 reminds us, therefore he had to be made like his brothers in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God to make propitiation for the sins of the people. It was essential that he became like us, his brothers in humanity, to fully understand our struggles and needs. He became a merciful and faithful high priest, capable of making atonement for the sins of the people, wiping away sin and providing reconciliation between God and humanity. Jesus came with a clear mission to seek and save the lost. 
He succeeded in completing this mission, even though it required him to drink from the cup of suffering to the very end. His prayer reveals the depth and quality of his relationship with the Father. It was an extremely challenging trial, as evidenced by the deep agony and almost mortal anguish he faced in the garden, as described in Luke 22, 43, 45. While Jesus struggled in prayer, his disciples, unable to fully grasp the gravity of the situation, fell asleep. An angel came from heaven to strengthen him at this crucial moment. When he rose from prayer, Jesus found his disciples sleeping from sorrow and exhorted them, Why are you sleeping? Rise and pray that you may not enter into temptation. Luke 22.45 These words echo to this day, reminding us of the importance of spiritual vigilance even in the most difficult times. The appearance of an angel to comfort Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane is profoundly significant. It symbolizes heaven's willingness to stand by Jesus as he faces his calling. Even in the face of imminent rejection and death, Jesus entrusts his burdens to God even as he faces the imminent rejection of death. This is a deeply human portrait of Jesus dealing with a range of emotions as he faces his own death. Luke's portrayal of Jesus in this way does not diminish his divinity. Rather, it shows us a Jesus who can relate to our weaknesses and traumas, as Hebrews 4.15 asserts. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who, in every respect, has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. These verses reveal Jesus' character and show us how we can face life's great trials that God sends us. They present us with a man who depends entirely on God and is determined to do His will, even in the most difficult circumstances. This is a source of encouragement and inspiration for all of us, showing that like Jesus, we can trust in God amidst adversities and remain steadfast in His will. We observe an individual dealing with hardships seeking comfort and guidance in God, and another channeling his deep emotions through prayer to God. Jesus also undergoes this challenge, receiving not an exemption, but the necessary vigor to overcome it. He questions the possibility of another path, but manifests his resolve to adhere to the divine plan. The heavens grant Jesus the strength he needs to fulfill his mission, disregarding his appeal for an alternative. The text highlights this harmony between accepting the divine call and the celestial support provided, illustrating remarkable aspects of Jesus' character as he faces his crucial trial. Through prayer, he openly shares his suffering and longing for God, maintaining his practice of communication with the divine, unchanged by the extraordinary events of his existence. This profound reflection on Jesus' agony in the Garden of Gethsemane reveals the depth of his humanity and the magnitude of his sacrifice for humanity's redemption. As we contemplate the scene of Jesus sweating drops of blood in anguish, we witness not only his physical suffering, but also the immense spiritual and emotional turmoil he experienced. In this moment of intense vulnerability, Jesus grappled with the weight of humanity's sin and the impending sacrifice he would make on the cross. The silence of God in response to Jesus' plea reflects the divine acceptance of the sacrifice that was to come. Despite the agony and loneliness Jesus felt, he remained obedient to the Father's will, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to the redemption of humanity, his willingness to drink from the cup of suffering, to endure humiliation and death on behalf of others is a testament to his boundless love and compassion. Through his suffering and sacrifice, Jesus offers a path to reconciliation with God and the promise of salvation for all who believe in him. His victory over sin and death on the cross provides hope and redemption for humanity, demonstrating the transformative power of God's love. 
As we reflect on Jesus' journey to the cross, may we be inspired by his example of selflessness, obedience, and unwavering faith. And may we find comfort and strength in knowing that God is always with us, even in our darkest moments. In the profound reflection on Jesus' agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, we delve into the depths of his humanity and the extent of his sacrifice for the redemption of humanity. As we contemplate the scene of Jesus sweating drops of blood in anguish, we witness not only his physical suffering but also the immense spiritual and emotional turmoil he endured. In this moment of intense vulnerability, Jesus grappled with the weight of humanity's sin and the impending sacrifice he would make on the cross. The silence of God in response to Jesus' plea reflects the divine acceptance of the sacrifice that was to come. Despite the agony and loneliness Jesus experienced, he remained obedient to the Father's will, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to the redemption of humanity. His willingness to drink from the cup of suffering, to endure humiliation and death on behalf of others, stands as a testament to his boundless love and compassion. Through his suffering and sacrifice, Jesus offers a path to reconciliation with God and the promise of salvation for all who believe in him. His victory over sin and death on the cross provides hope and redemption for humanity, revealing the transformative power of God's love. As we reflect on Jesus' journey to the cross, may we be inspired by his example of selflessness, obedience, and unwavering faith, finding comfort and strength in the assurance that God is always with us, even in our darkest moments. In this reflection on Jesus' agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, we delve into the profound depths of his humanity and the extraordinary extent of his sacrifice for the redemption of humanity. As we contemplate the scene of Jesus sweating drops of blood in profound anguish, we bear witness not only to his physical suffering, but also to the profound spiritual and emotional turmoil he endured. In this moment of intense vulnerability, Jesus grappled with the weight of humanity's sin and the impending sacrifice he would make on the cross. The silence of God in response to Jesus' plea underscores the divine acceptance of the sacrifice that was to come. Despite the agony and isolation Jesus experienced, he remained obedient to the Father's will, showcasing his unwavering commitment to the redemption of humanity. His readiness to drink from the cup of suffering, to endure humiliation and death on behalf of others, serves as an enduring testament to his boundless love and compassion. Through his suffering and sacrifice, Jesus extends a path to reconciliation with God and the promise of salvation for all who place their faith in him. His triumph over sin and death on the cross offers hope and redemption for humanity, showcasing the transformative power of God's love. As we meditate on Jesus' journey to the cross, may we draw inspiration from his example of selflessness, obedience, and unwavering faith, and may we find solace and strength in the knowledge that God is ever-present, even in our darkest hours. In contemplating Jesus' agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, we delve into the profound depths of his humanity and the extraordinary extent of his sacrifice for the redemption of humanity, Witnessing Jesus sweating drops of blood in profound anguish, we confront not only his physical suffering, but also the profound spiritual and emotional turmoil he endured. In this moment of intense vulnerability, Jesus grappled with the weight of humanity's sin and the impending sacrifice he would make on the cross. The silence of God in response to Jesus' plea underscores the divine acceptance of the sacrifice that was to come. Despite the agony and isolation Jesus experienced, he remained obedient to the Father's will, showcasing his unwavering commitment to humanity's redemption. 
his readiness to drink from the cup of suffering, to endure humiliation and death on behalf of others, stands as an enduring testament to his boundless love and compassion. Through his suffering and sacrifice, Jesus offers a path to reconciliation with God and the promise of salvation for all who place their faith in him. His triumph over sin and death on the cross offers hope and redemption for humanity, illustrating the transformative power of God's love. As we reflect on Jesus' journey to the cross, may we draw inspiration from his example of selflessness, obedience, and unwavering faith, finding solace and strength in the knowledge that God is ever-present, even in our darkest moments. Continuing our reflection on Jesus' agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, we delve deeper into the profound humanity of Jesus and the immense sacrifice he made for the redemption of humanity. His readiness to drink from the cup of suffering, to endure humiliation and death on behalf of others, serves as an enduring testament to his boundless love and compassion. Through his suffering and sacrifice, Jesus extends a path to reconciliation with God and the promise of salvation for all who place their faith in him. His triumph over sin and death on the cross offers hope and redemption for humanity, showcasing the transformative power of God's love. As we meditate on Jesus' journey to the cross, may we draw inspiration from his example of selflessness, obedience, and unwavering faith, and may we find solace and strength in the knowledge that God is ever-present even in our darkest hours. In contemplating Jesus' agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, we delve into the profound depths of his humanity and the extraordinary extent of his sacrifice for the redemption of humanity. Witnessing Jesus sweating drops of blood in profound anguish, we confront not only his physical suffering, but also the profound spiritual and emotional turmoil he endured. In this moment of intense vulnerability, Jesus grappled with the weight of humanity's sin and the impending sacrifice he would make on the cross. The silence of God in response to Jesus' plea underscores the divine acceptance of the sacrifice that was to come. Despite the agony and isolation Jesus experienced, he remained obedient to the Father's will, showcasing his unwavering commitment to humanity's redemption. His readiness to drink from the cup of suffering, to endure humiliation and death on behalf of others, stands as an enduring testament to his boundless love and compassion. Through his suffering and sacrifice, Jesus offers a path to reconciliation with God and the promise of salvation for all who place their faith in him. His triumph over sin and death on the cross offers hope and redemption for humanity, illustrating the transformative power of God's love. As we reflect on Jesus' journey to the cross, may we draw inspiration from his example of selflessness, obedience, and unwavering faith, finding solace and strength in the knowledge that God is ever-present, even in our darkest moments. Continuing our reflection on Jesus' agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, we delve deeper into the profound humanity of Jesus and the immense sacrifice he made for the redemption of humanity. As we witness Jesus sweeting drops of blood in profound anguish, we are confronted not only with his physical suffering, but also with the deep spiritual and emotional turmoil he endured. In this moment of intense vulnerability, Jesus grappled with the weight of humanity's sin and the impending sacrifice he would make on the cross. The silence of God in response to Jesus' plea underscores the divine acceptance of the sacrifice sacrifice that was to come. Despite the agony and isolation Jesus experienced, he remained obedient to the Father's will, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to humanity's redemption. His willingness to drink from the cup of suffering, enduring humiliation and death on behalf of others, stands as a testament to his boundless love and compassion. Through his suffering and sacrifice, Jesus provides a path to reconciliation with God and the promise of salvation for all who believe in him. 
His victory over sin and death on the cross offers hope and redemption for humanity, revealing the transformative power of God's love. As we contemplate Jesus' journey to the cross, may we draw inspiration from his example of selflessness, obedience, and unwavering faith, finding comfort and strength in knowing that God is with us, even in our darkest moments. Continuing to reflect on Jesus' agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, we delve deeper into the profound humanity of Jesus and the immense sacrifice he made for the redemption of humanity. Witnessing Jesus sweating drops of blood in profound anguish, we are confronted not only with his physical suffering but also with the deep spiritual and emotional turmoil he endured. In this moment of intense vulnerability, Jesus grappled with the weight of humanity's sin and the impending sacrifice he would make on the cross. The silence of God in response to Jesus' plea underscores the divine acceptance of the sacrifice that was to come. Despite the agony and isolation Jesus experienced, he remained obedient to the Father's will, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to humanity's redemption, his willingness to drink from the cup of suffering, enduring humiliation and death on behalf of others, stands as a testament to his boundless love and compassion. Through his suffering and sacrifice, Jesus provides a path to reconciliation with God and the promise of salvation for all who believe in him. His victory over sin and death on the cross offers hope and redemption for humanity, revealing the transformative power of God's love. As we contemplate Jesus' journey to the cross, may we draw inspiration from his example of selflessness, obedience, and unwavering faith, finding comfort and strength in knowing that God is with us, even in our darkest moments. Continuing our reflection on Jesus' agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, we delve deeper into the profound humanity of Jesus and the immense sacrifice he made for the redemption of humanity. Witnessing Jesus sweating drops of blood in profound anguish, we are confronted not only with his physical suffering, but also with the deep spiritual and emotional turmoil he endured. In this moment of intense vulnerability, Jesus grappled with the weight of humanity's sin and the impending sacrifice he would make on the cross. The silence of God in response to Jesus' plea underscores the divine acceptance of the sacrifice that was to come. Despite the agony and isolation Jesus experienced, he remained obedient to the Father's will, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to humanity's redemption. His willingness to drink from the cup of suffering, enduring humiliation and death on behalf of others, stands as a testament to his boundless love and compassion. Through his suffering and sacrifice, Jesus provides a path to reconciliation with God and the promise of salvation for all who believe in him. His victory over sin and death on the cross offers hope and redemption for humanity, revealing the transformative power of God's love. As we contemplate Jesus' journey to the cross, may we draw inspiration from his example of selflessness, obedience, and unwavering faith, finding comfort and strength in knowing that God is with us, even in our darkest moments. The profound significance of Jesus' agony in the Garden of Gethsemane lies in its portrayal of his humanity and his willingness to embrace suffering for the sake of others. As Jesus wrestled with the weight of the impending crucifixion, he experienced the depths of human anguish and despair. His plea to God to let this cup pass from me echoes the natural human desire to avoid pain and suffering, yet he ultimately submits to the divine will, saying, not my will, but yours be done. In this moment of profound vulnerability, Jesus demonstrates the depth of his love for humanity and his unwavering commitment to fulfilling his mission of redemption. 
Despite the intense physical and emotional anguish he experienced, Jesus remained resolute in his determination to carry out the Father's plan, knowing that it would lead to his crucifixion and death. The silence of God in response to Jesus' plea underscores the solemn acceptance of the sacrifice that was to come. It is a testament to Jesus' complete surrender to the will of the Father and his willingness to endure suffering for the sake of humanity's salvation. Through his sacrifice on the cross, Jesus offers a path to reconciliation with God and the promise of eternal life for all who believe in him. His victory over sin and death demonstrates the power of God's love to overcome even the greatest darkness. As we reflect on Jesus' agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, may we be reminded of the depth of his love for us and the incredible sacrifice he made on our behalf. May we also find comfort and hope in the knowledge that through his death and resurrection, Jesus has conquered sin and death and offers us the gift of salvation and eternal life.